in the bridge and structural category. The award goes to Koch Skanska, Iron Workers Local 40, New York City, and the New York, New Jersey Port Authority for the World Trade Center Transportation Hub Oculus Steel Project. point of the New York World Trade Center in Lower Manhattan is not particularly large. At 12,000 tons and roughly the size of a football field, it makes up for it. It compensates for the complexity and precision of a sculpture that its architect envisioned well beyond that of normal steel erection. Skanska is fortunate to have a long-standing relationship in the greater New York area with locals 40, 361, and 11. I'd like to thank Bob Walsh, Matt Chartrand, Ray Woodall, of the locals for empowering us to do this uh, type of work. I'd also like to thank the men and women who brought the Oculus to completion with zero lost time ironworker accidents while logging a half million hours <laughs> with 160 members. <clears throat> Erecting 200 foot long cantilevered rafters to an eighth of an inch tolerance required a continuous partnership and collaboration between Skanska, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, and the iron workers. More often than not, it was the ironworker's skill and ingenuity that developed a working solution when problems developed. I'd like to acknowledge a few key contributors at this time. Jim Beckett from Local 40, our ironworker general foreman. Matt Kugler, Local 40, ironworker raising gang foreman. Jack Williams from Local 40, ironworker raising gang foreman. Joe Torres, Local 40, welding foreman and Bob Fennell, Local 11 welding foreman. Uh, one more person I'd like to recognize is Brian Brady. He leads the Iron Worker Training Facility in New York, which continues to develop iron workers long after their apprentice program. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. You did a great job. And also Terry Daly with uh, Vice President and General Manager for Skanska Koch. Um, I'm deeply proud to uh, accept this award on behalf of the iron workers from Local 40 and also uh, for this prestigious award of 2015 for the Project of the Year Award. I want to thank all the judges that had to make uh, decisions, probably very hard decisions at times, but to all of the contractors and the iron workers throughout the country, we're all winners as far as I'm concerned because we're iron workers. Um, also, I want to thank uh, our District Council President, Jimmy uh, Mahoney, our new ninth General Vice President, and also all the locals that were involved down around the Trade Center site. Local 46, Local 197, Local 361, and Local 580. We all had a hand in this wonderful project. Uh, this was a project that got started in 2012 and was completed just a few months ago. According to the Spanish architect Santiago Calatrava, it reminded him of a child releasing a white bird and flying off and just getting bigger and bigger as it went further away. This project was a very ch challenging and complex one. There was at, at its peak 160 iron workers, structural iron workers on site, working around the clock, seven days a week. One week alone there was over 9,000 man hours worked and that went on for many, many weeks. Full-time trucking had to be done at nighttime because of all the pedestrian traffic, and the streets in Lower Manhattan are not, the trucking not a truck driver's dream, that's for sure. 
The ribs and rafters, or wings if you want to call them, were, went from 23 feet all the way up to 200 feet. Each rafter had to be rigged completely different. The two new tower rigs were Falco, uh, Favco's 1280s, and uh, the first test pick that was done was 90 ton, and it was 100 feet out. So these, these were monsters, and they did it with ease, that's for sure. They made the job a lot easier for all the iron workers. Uh, in closing, I want to thank all the iron workers that were there. Also, uh, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, I have to thank them as well, and Steve Plate, the Chief of Construction, who has done a marvelous job for all the local unions, not just the iron workers. They've given us millions and millions of hours of work in the New York area. And last of all, I want to thank uh, Terry Daly, Senior Vice President and General Manager with Koch Skanska. I know them as Koch, the Koch Company, because I've been working with Koch Company a long, long time, back in the early 60s when I started working. They were uh, the original erectors of Tower 1 and Tower 2. They did the first cleanup after the first attack in the early 90s, and were involved in the second cleanup as well. And uh, like I said, I know them as the Koch Company, Terry and his father, Terry, uh, Jack Daly, all the Koch family. And let me just say one thing which they should be very proud of, and I know they are. They're over 100 years old union contractor. Thank you very much to them as well. <laughs>